Daré ahora la palabra I a now los give the floor Consejo to those members of the Council who wish to make statements after the vote. Doy la palabra I give the floor to the Ambassador of Egypt. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, since the beginning of the Arab-Israeli conflict in 1948, since the rights of the Palestinian people to an independent sovereign state have not been met, a natural life of dignity and freedom. Despite clear silence in the international community and dozens of resolutions of the Security Council and the General Assembly of the United Nations that remain unimplemented, Egypt has taken on its duties. It has confronted many challenges. We have had many wars, both on the ground and in diplomacy, in defense of Palestinian rights. To move move forward to the creation of an independent state of Palestine with its capital in East Jerusalem. Steps towards just and durable, peaceful peace, a peaceful settlement in the Middle East. Ladies and gentlemen, the draft resolution on Israeli settlements adopted by the Council today undoubtedly expresses a painful reality of illegitimate settlement. It is also born of a policy of confiscation of Palestinian land against a clear principle adopted by the international community, the inadmissibility of the acquisition of territory by armed force. This uh, 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 requires all of us to be wise, to be politically realistic in order to take up this issue without uh, any excesses from any party, just as we have seen during our deliberations on the draft resolution. I mean specifically settlements. It is an issue that is related to one of the most important components of the final settlement the issue of borders, consultations on the draft, the timing of the vote in the past few hours have showed that some international parties want to intervene directly to resolve the question of Palestine finally in accordance with relevant Security Council resolutions, most notably 242 of 1967, as well as 338 of 1973. And, uh, 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 Four, four, six of 1997. Any uh, opportunity for future steps can in no way mean uh, that uh, we mu can uh, stay away from the fundamental requirements of a settlement to the question of Palestine, including the issue of settlement. These uh, pillars are well known. They are set out in previous international resolutions of this Security Council, as well as uh, uh, positions uh, of uh, uh, international powers and the Palestinian leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Egypt found it itself today compelled to withdraw its own draft resolution. This was procedural because of the pressures that the draft has met since it was tabled in blue. This led to even a warning by some members of the Security Council. This is utterly unacceptable in form and substance in view of firm Egyptian positions that cannot be placed in doubt pertaining to legitimate Palestinian rights. Let it also be known that those pressures took place in the absence of Egypt through active political efforts uh, 24 hours a day ever since the draft was set out in blue in order uh, to maintain uh, legitimate Palestinian rights through a just and durable settlement in accordance with international resolutions uh, relevant to the issue, we did so. Nevertheless, Egypt has voted in favor 
of the draft resolution just voted on. This is based on our firm principled positions that cannot be put in doubt. It ought not be subject to negotiation or pressure from any. We were the first to bear arms to protect legitimate Arab and Palestinian rights. We were the first to make peace with Israel as we believe in peace rather than armed conflict. Egypt uh, has been and continues to be one of the strongest believers in the possibility of just durable peace in the Middle East based on the principles of a two-state solution and land for peace as recognized by international legitimacy. I thank you, Mr. President.